Hello, my name is Di Thomas and in this video we're going to demonstrate some examples of techniques and strategies in games that can be used to help develop a learner's memory. Learners who are dyslexic or display dyslexic type of tendencies often have difficulties related to memory and in particular work in memory and find it difficult to store, manipulate and process information that they are given. During the video we are going to demonstrate some activities designed to boost both auditory and visual memory. And Johan has agreed to help me with this activity this morning. Okay, and first of all, Johan, we're going to do some activities or some games which are really simple to play, and hopefully these will help to build your auditory memory. In other words, remembering things that you hear. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was in school, I used to get mixed up quite often when teachers were giving instructions. And I'd remember the first few bits, and then I'd get lost, and then I'd get falling behind. Do things like that ever happen to you? Yes. Okay. So what we'll try and do this morning then is see if we can use some games or some strategies to build your auditory memory up. Okay, you happy with that? Fantastic. Okay, the first thing we're going to do then, like we did uh, last time we met, we're going to play a simple memory game. And this is a memory game where we're going to try and remember things that each other say. Okay. So, I know you like animals, so what I want you to do is think of a place where we might go to see some animals. Aquarium? To an aquarium, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to start off with a sentence then. I went to the aquarium and I saw... So, you can go first if you like, and you're going to think of an animal, and I'm going to repeat what you've said and see if I can add one more to it. I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter. And I saw a sea otter, well done. So, I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter and a manta ray. I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter and a manta ray and cuttlefish. I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter, a manta ray, a cuttlefish and a turtle. I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter, a manta ray, a cuttlefish and a turtle and I saw a shark. A shark, okay. So I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter and a manta ray and a cuttlefish and a turtle and a shark and an electric eel. I went to the aquarium and I saw a sea otter, a manta ray, cuttlefish, a turtle, a shark, a, um, Can you remember my last one? I nearly forgot when it was my go. No, no well, my last one's electric eel. Electric eel. Okay, so we'll stop eel. there for now, you and that was fantastic. Can you count up how many different animals we remembered between us? We had a sea otter, sea otter cuttlefish, yeah, a manta ray, manta ray shark, shark, a turtle, turtle and uh, the electric eel the electric was the last one. There yeah. was definitely five we remembered there. Okay, now when you were doing that, and like last time, you told me there was a certain technique you used to help you to remember things. Yeah. What is it that you do? I picture them in my head. Okay, so did you imagine yourself in the aquarium and seeing these different animals, for example? Yeah. Another thing I saw you doing on the table when you were doing that was each time you gave an animal, you were moving your hand. Was that another technique you were trying to do? Yeah. As I know, for example, I was counting up on my fingers underneath the table to see if that helped me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a five that time, so I think you there were using two really, really good memory strategies. Putting what you'd heard into some pictures in your mind, I think that's fantastic. And also trying to count up how many different animals we had. So, we got a five last time. Do you think we can get better than that if we try it one more time? Yeah. Do you reckon we can get to six? Right. Yeah? Go for it. Okay, so are we going to go back to the aquarium? Mm hmm Okay, are I, you going to start? Yeah. I went to the aquarium 
and I saw um, a starfish. Starfish, okay. And I'm pictured in that starfish in my mind now, so I'm going to try your strategy, okay? okay? So, I went to the aquarium and I saw a starfish and I saw a terrapin. <laughs> it's like a turtle. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that like, webbed feet. That's the one. Um, I went to the aquarium and I saw... I went to the... I went to the aquarium and I saw a starfish and a terrapin and an octopus. Okay, right, I'm imagining those three sitting next to each other in the pool at the moment. So, I went to the aquarium and I saw a starfish and a terrapin and an octopus and sitting next to them was a giant squid. Um, I went to the aquarium and I saw a starfish, a terrapin, an octopus and a giant squid. Yeah. And a goblin shark. And a goblin shark. Okay, right, I'm not sure what one of those looks like, but I'm going to try and picture that. So, I went to the aquarium and I saw a starfish and a terrapin and an octopus and a giant squid and a goblin shark and next to them was a piranha. I went to the aquarium and I saw a Starfish, terrapin, an octopus, a squid, and a goblin shark, and a piranha. Well done. And also, I saw a, um, a crab. And a crab, fantastic. Well, we've beaten our last go already, so let's see if we can get one more each, shall we? Okay, mm. so I went to the aquarium and I saw a star. A starfish, thank you. And next to the starfish was a terrapin. And then there was a oh. octopus and a giant squid and a goblin shark and a piranha and a crab. And next to them was a dolphin. I went to the aquarium and I saw a starfish a terrapin, an octopus, a squid, and next to the squid I saw a goblin shark, a piranha, uh, um, a crab, and... Um, Remember the last one? Um, Began with a duck. Dolphin. Dolphin, well done. And also I saw tropical fish. A tropical fish, well that's fantastic. I think I'm going to stop there because I don't think I can remember that much. But we definitely beat our first go and I think the strategy you told me about having the pictures in your mind, I think that really helped me that time. Mm. So I'm going to reuse that myself in the future. So thank you for that, Johan. Mm. Okay, so we've played a game then which was to try and help our auditory memory, trying to remember things that we heard or listened to. Okay, this time then what we're going to do, we're going to try and see what our visual memory is like. In other words, how much can we remember of things that we see? Are you happy to do that? Yeah. Okay, now next to you on the floor you've got two sets of cards. One set has got pictures on and one set are different colours. Okay, mm -hmm. what we're going to do first of all is an activity with the colour cards. Okay, so we've both got a pack of colours. Mm. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some cards down on the table, then I'm going to cover them up, and I'm going to see if you can repeat that pattern with your cards underneath. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, should we do that as a practice first of all? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put out three cards, okay? And I'm going to go yellow, red, and green. Happy? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cover those up. Can you repeat that pattern for me, please, here one? Okay, and you've gone for yellow, red, green. You confident? Yeah. Yep. 
fantastic well done okay so three cards wasn't too difficult yeah. should we try and make it a bit more difficult this time yeah. how many cards should we go for four go for four okay that makes sense so i'm gonna have yellow blue orange red i'm going to cover those up can you repeat that for me please go on okay so what colors have you gone for yellow orange blue and red okay are you happy that those are the correct colors yeah should we have a check Oh. Right, okay, so, <laughs> did you have the right colours? Yeah. Were they in the right order? No. No. Two of them needed to be swapped. Those two in the middle we need to swap round. Okay, so do you want to swap those round so that they're the same? Right, earlier on then you told me that really good visual technique for remembering things. Yeah. Did you try anything this time? Mm. <laughs> it's hard because... All the colours. Okay, it's yeah. hard for the colours. Yeah. Shall we try this time using the technique you did before? Okay. Where you see if you can remember what the colours look like on the table. Okay. Yeah? Shall we try again for four? Yeah. Okay. Well done, Yoan. Okay, so. When you're ready, I'll put my cards out. You happy? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go green, yellow, Red, green. You okay. happy for me to cover? four cards. I don't know if they have to be swapped. Okay, so do you think that looks more right now? Yeah. Okay, you happy? Yeah. Fantastic, well done. Okay, so we were more successful this time. That was really good. Mm. So, did you try that visual technique that time? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. First it wasn't working, but then I remembered Brazil and Portugal. Well, do you know that's a fantastic way of doing it? So why did you pick Brazil and Portugal for those two? Because the color, main colours for Brazil is yellow and green and then the main colours for Portugal is green, green and red. Now that is absolutely fantastic. So you picked two flags that you knew the colours of and you used those to help you remember the order those came in. That is an absolutely awesome strategy. Well done. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, we put these colour cards away. Are you happy to try another visual memory game? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. This time then, we've got a tray of some mystery objects. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these mystery objects are hidden underneath a towel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the towel off in a second. And I'm going to ask you to look at that tray and what's on there for one minute. Then I'm going to cover it back over and I'm going to ask you to tell me how many different things on the tray you can remember. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so I'll move the tray a little bit closer to you. There's lots of stuff on the tray. So, there's all sorts of things. Shall I turn it the other way around? Okay, so... I'm going to start counting in a minute and I want you to see how many of those things you can remember, Johan. You see everything on them? Yeah, I was checking if there's anything under here. No. 
good another 10 mm. seconds. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah. Right. I'm going to cover that back over. And on my piece of paper, which I'm going to turn away slightly and hide from you, can you tell me what things you can remember from there? Um, my uh, badge. A badge, well done. Badge. A monkey. Yes. Um, Lily's mocking monster, which is like a penguin. Okay, well done. A comb. Well done. A car. A pencil. A marble. One p. Five p. Um. And Scooby Doo. Well done. A minion. Well done. And uh, a chair. Well done. And a magnifying gas. Fantastic. Well done. Um. And a hair clip. Well done. Uh, Is that it? Yeah. Okay, so there oh, was a dinosaur. Oh, and a dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur well bird. done. So we had the dinosaur skeleton down the bottom, didn't we? Yeah. Fantastic. Right, there were 20 different things on that tray. Mm. How many of those things do you think you remembered? 11. 11. Well, you actually remembered 15. So you did even better than you thought. Okay, shall we uncover that again mm -hmm. and see if we can work out what bits you missed earlier? Okay. Oh, the table tennis thing. So, we missed the table tennis bat earlier. What else did we miss? Uh, ice cream, ice cream, ladybird, crayon, ring. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. Can you tell me what you did? How did you remember all those things so well? Well, I just pictured, like I looked around and I just pictured them, like a picture. Okay. Like I had a camera. So you took sort of a camera picture in your mind of what was on the tray and you used yeah. that to help. Okay. Yeah. Is there any particular part of the tray you think where you missed out some of the objects that were on there? I think it was like this line of stuff here. Okay, so it's mainly that part of the tray there. Okay, and there's also this mm. big one up there, wasn't there? Right. Are you happy to take another mental photo then if I ask you to do it again? Mm, okay. If I give you another minute, okay, to see if you can remember what's on the tray this time, do you think you can beat 15? Probably. Mm, probably. Okay, so if I give you another minute here, I'm starting now. See how many you can remember this time. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds. Okay, happy? Mm -hmm. Okay, right, I'm going to cover it up for the second and final time. Okay. Give me time to remember this time. Scooby Doo, Penguin. Um, pencil, table tennis, um, like that thing, well done. Uh, chair, badge, well done. Cl uh, clip, well done. Uh, um, one p, five p, marble, well done. Well done. Um, 
magnifying glass, well ladybird, done. crayon, ring, comb, and what was a dinosaur. Well done. And a car. Well done. Um, did I do the punch? You did the punch. Um, I don't know. Do you think you did better than last time? No. You don't. Well, how many did you do the first time? Can you remember? Um, 15. And 15. This time you actually did 17. So you did better than last time. And this time you also remembered some of the oh, things. Minion. Million. Oh, minion. Actually, I'll give you that one then. We'll say that's 18, shall we? Okay. okay. And the chair. And the chair. So this time then, which ones did you remember this time that you forgot the first time? Crayon, ring, ladybird. Didn't get the ice cream. Didn't get the ice cream. I got the ladybird. You did? Um, I know what I missed though. I missed the penguin and the minion. You missed the and penguin the ice cream. And so it's mainly that one up in the top corner you missed on both goes, wasn't it? But it was really yeah. good that second time that you remembered most of the ones and you even remembered the bat that time as well. So you remembered a lot of the ones that you missed the first time. That's fantastic, Ewan. Well done. Right, again, you've been really patient and I know you're getting tired now. So you've been working really hard. Are you willing to do one final memory game with me? All right. All right, thank you. <laughs> OK. Earlier on then, I also gave you another set of cards and these cards had pictures on them. OK, can you find those cards for me please, Johan? OK, so earlier on then, we had some cards which had colours on which were a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. Let's see then if it's a little bit easier to remember cards that have got pictures on. Are you willing to give that a go? OK, right. Yeah. I'm going to put down three cards to start with. Yeah. Okay. okay. What I'm going to ask you to do this time, I'm not going to ask you to put your cards out in order. Oh. I'm just going to ask you, first of all, if you can remember what the cards I put down now. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. So, I know you like this animal, which is why I picked it. Okay. I'm going to put those three cards down. Are you happy you can remember what they yeah. were? Okay, what have we got? Otter, a zoo and a bus. Otter, a zoo and a bus. Fantastic. Okay. Do I put them in order? Or? This time then, I'm going to put four cards down. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to repeat the pattern with your cards. Mm -hmm. Are you happy to do that? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, so you've got your cards out in order. Are you happy with the order I've got? Yes. Okay, I'm going to cover that over. Um, okay. Tea, zebra, football and phone. Okay, so you've gone for a cup of tea, zebra, football and phone. Are you happy that you've got them in the right order? I think that's now. Not sure on the last two? I'll go with that one. Okay, go with that. That was your first choice, wasn't it? Yay. And you were right. Well done. Right. We've both got the same cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many of these cards do you think I could put out that you could remember and copy the pattern yourself? About six. About six. Okay. If you're willing to move your cards a little bit further down, I'll put six cards in the middle and I'll do a row of three with a row of three underneath. And I want you to see if you can repeat the pattern with your cards. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. Six cards. 
Mm -hmm. Are you happy for me to cover those? Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, so, you happy those are the six pictures I chose? Um, think so. You think so? You're starting to doubt yourself don't, now, aren't you? I don't, I don't really know if I got the elephant one. Okay, right. let's leave the elephant there for now then, shall we? Okay, so those are the cards you picked. Do you think they're in the right order? Um, or should we have a look to find out? I'll go with that. Okay, so. I got the strawberry and buster one going. Okay, so you definitely got the right pictures. <laughs> Do you want to swap your cards round then? That were in the wrong place. Fantastic, well done. So, excellent that you remember what the pictures were. And then we got them in the right order in the end. Okay. Do you know what I do? And somebody I used to work with told me this technique and I think it's a really good one. He used to say that when he couldn't remember things, what he used to do was to try and put it into a silly sentence or a story. Okay, so we could have something like to remember these cards. The otter. Went to the zoo on the bus. Went to the zoo on the bus. Why is he eating a strawberry? Why is he eating a strawberry? Ice cream. Ice cream. And he saw... An elephant. An elephant. Okay, so do you think... Trying to make a silly sentence like that with the cards I put out would make it easier for you to remember. Yeah. Yeah, should we give it another go? Yeah. Okay, right. I'm going to keep my first two cards the same and then I'm going to change some of the others. So should we try with six again? Okay. Okay. Okay, so there's my six cards, Johan. Okay. Okay. In your head, you're going to put those into a sentence. And we'll see if this helps. Okay. Okay. Right, I'll cover that up then. Fantastic, so let's move these out of the way then. So, what's your sentence uh, that you came up with for I these don't pictures know then? The technique. I did them separately. Okay. You also went to the zoo on a bike and then the shark texted the zebra. That's it? fantastic, well done. So, do you think that's the same pattern as mine? Yeah. Yeah? Fantastic, well done. So, did that technique help a little bit, do you think? Yes. Okay, shall we try it one more time then? And this time I'm going to add another three cards. Okay. Shall we give that as a go? As yeah. a, an activity to finish off? Yeah. Okay, right. I'm going to swap some of these round. some sentences. Okay, the final go then. Can you repeat that for me? Fantastic. Okay, so are you happy with your three? Yes. Okay, which one of those did you remember first? The otter went on a bike to have some tea. So the otter went on his bike to have a cup of tea. Okay. What was the second one you did? Um, uh, the shark went to on to the zoo on the bus. Okay. And the third one? No, I did 
The elephant played football with a zebra. Okay, and let's check to see if you're right. Perfect, well done. Okay. You had them all. You had them all. Well done. Thank you very much, Johan. Right, we'll stop there. Thank you very much once again for your help this morning in showing how to use these different memory techniques. You're fantastic. Thank you. Within the previous video, we demonstrated some simple yet effective games and strategies which can be used to help boost a learner's auditory and visual memory. In both cases, we attempted as a duo to play a game. The learner was then asked to discuss what strategy they had used to try and remember the information they were given before we discussed a range of different strategies which could prove to be effective. One of those strategies was adopted and the game was replayed to see whether trying the new strategy made a difference to the amount of information that was memorised.